Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Slint, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Hope you guys are enjoying it. As always, y'all know it's y'all favorite nappy headed producer. Well, right now, I got a little twist in my hair, so you know, starting my dreads and all that good stuff. So, I'm not really nappy headed, but I mean, it needs to be redone. So, I guess I'm still nappy headed, like always. But I'm back with another video. This is a requested video from a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys want some more workflow tips and a lot of, you know, how can I speed up my workflow and improve my, you know, using my DAW in a more efficient manner. And people been asking me, hey, yo, can you show us how to set up our own templates and you know i thought to myself damn that's a good idea because i want to make my own template so i'm gonna show you guys how to make your own template so that way you can start fs studio it'd be ready to go you can just start creating no matter what if you're beat block or whatever having a template is a very dope thing to do because it can just speed up your workflow now don't forget follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud mr different tv and also subscribe to the channel if you are not known hit that bell notification make sure you hit all so you see all my videos my guy and then, or girl, you know, this girl's out there watching my videos too. I know, I know. Ah. And, you know, <laughs> I need to stop. And yeah, just make sure you join the community. So let's jump right inside FS Studio. Let me teach you guys how to make your own template easy. So here we are inside of FS Studio. Now, don't mind my super colorful rainbow, you know, light bright <laughs> ass template right now. It's just, you know, to show you guys how cool it is and all that. And I also, I want to, I like to, you know, I'm different. Eh. Just rock with me on this. So, so here we are right now. I have a template already set up and made. Now, in order to make a template, you can start with a default template. You know, that's cool. You can start with a template, uh, like an empty, like FL Studio, just by going to, uh, I think file, and then go to op uh, templates, and then you can go to you know whatever it is, go to empty. And you can have some empty and whatnot. Cool. That's what I did. So my template. This is how I set my template. So you can see how I set it up, and I'm gonna talk you through you know just some ideas and some you know things to keep in mind when making a template. So you can make templates for different things. You can make it for beat making, one for mixing, one for recording, one for mastering, one for I don't know, whatever, sound design, whatever. You can make one no matter what you want, how you want to operate. Now, this is just a general purpose kind of beat making template for me. This is how I like to start because these are the plugins that I normally always open up no matter what when I'm making a beat. So why not have them already ready for me so I can just, you know, go from there. So I have my scaler, of course, because scaler is, you know, a great tool to have and use, especially when playing out notes and coming out song ideas. Arcade, my new favorite plugin that I've just recently fell back in love with. So I'm definitely making an update video about Arcade Analog Lab because it has all the analog synthesizers out there that you ever want. Pigments because it's a great wavetable synthesizer. Electro X because ARPS in this thing is unbeatable omnisphere of course and then sublet because hey sometimes i might want to make my own 808 base or take an existing one and you know manipulate it some more so once i did that i added in my top you know plugins i always gravitate to always i went ahead and routed them to my mixer channel and i did change the colors as well that way you know they just stick out and just you know they're already right so i know those are my default plugins so if i need to add more i know they'll be gray or whatever but i know these are my plugins that are already there already routed pretty cool over here, I do have two scenes. I have a reverb scene that has uh, the Fat Filter Pro R. It's a very good all around reverb plugin. So I put that in there because I don't know what type of reverb I want to use, spring, plate, or whatever. I can definitely change that in the end, the long run. But since it's already routed, I can just throw a different reverb in there and, you know, be ready to go. Same with the delay. I'm using Fahala delay because it's a very, very, very good all around delay. And it's just, you know, it's a dope delay. And if I need to replace it with something else, I can as well. But most of the time, I'm using Fahala delay. Sometimes sound toys just depends. But, you know, for more easy use. But, the hall delays usually my go-to when it comes to delay. So those are set up. I'm good. Don't need no more delays or reverse anything like that. Then I have my master channel. Now my master channel has all the plugins that I use on my master. So of course I'm always gonna have I am pusher. I made a video about that. I am pusher is my my go-to plugin when it comes to getting my mix to hit the way I want to. That's just me and my sound. I am pusher is the plugin for that. You know. And also if you want to pick up this plugin, there is a coupon code below for ways like five or ten percent off. So you know it's usually on sale a lot. So use my coupon code and get yourself this if you're something you're interested in next i have ozone 9 um you know because you know if i want to master it i master right here and I, ozone 9 is just the best way of mastering any ozone whatever usually you want um and then i have my pro l2 because this is my final limiter because it's just the best limiter out there in my opinion and also i love the metering too it has different metering so i can see different loudness and all that good stuff as well which is pretty good then i have you lean master just to have just to have like an initial like a last minute kind of like make sure my stuff is hitting right if i mix it for spotify itunes or whatever that stuff stuff and then i also have my sonar works as well which is basically just to a creative eq for my speakers and um 
my headphones so I can make sure that my mix would translate throughout. Now I do have Ion Pusher and Isotope Ozone off because I don't initially use them when I'm making my beat. I use them after the effects and like the, the mastering part or whatever. And also keep in mind if you're, if you have any like very hungry CPU hungry plugins or say you have plugins on like a very slow hard drive, like an older spinning hard drive, um, don't include them because they will take a long time to load up. So every time you open up FL Studio, it'll take longer to load up since all my stuff is on, since my whole computer is SSD based, I don't have to worry about that. I, my stuff loads up like that. So I can, you know, afford to have Omnisphere and all these other plugins on my, you know, my template. So boom. So once you got that all set up, you're happy with it. You're like, yes, this is my template. I love it. I'm ready to go different. How do I save this? Easy. You want to hit save, save as my guy. Once you go to save as, this is the path you gotta follow in order to save it. So on your computer, you go to your documents, you go to image line, FL Studio, projects, and then it'll be a template folder. And then you wanna save your template inside of there. Once you do that, you're done. It's done, it works. And that's it, you save the template, now you're great. So what you would do now is once you close FL Studio again, so you're pretty much close FL Studio and then reopen it. Once you do that, if you go to open from template, there would be your template right there. Boom, oh snap. Right, you like that, don't you? Yeah, now your template right there, like I say, if you have multiple templates, they'll all populate that little area right there. Now, good thing about FL's 20.6 or five, I forgot which one they did, you can now change your default template. I think you do that, put 20 period. You can now change your default template. So every time you open up FL Studio, it will actually be the template you have selected. So I can go to change template, and then go right here and go to make my default template, Mr. Different Project Start. Now, every time I open up FL Studio, this template will pop up and I'm ready to go. All my sounds right there, they're already routed. I have effects, I have my match stuff. Now I can just pick a sound and start working. That's why I like this template because usually I go to arcade, find some cool little rhythm. You know, if I can't find an arcade, I have Scalar right there to start playing around my other instruments. I can play along with it at my bass. I got my kits in there and my kits and drums I always change all every beat I make sometimes. Uh, most times so I ain't really worried about having certain drums in there but if you maybe you like the DJ spin the DJ was it the spins 808 you could throw the spins 808 and there's always ready to go for you know you might be that guy I'm not that guy I'm sorry but do remember before you save if you want to I would shut off everything you don't use right away so that way it'll already be shut off so that way if you start playing around with it you don't start using a lot of CPU usage and start popping and clicking let's like I said I was a told uh Ozone's off, I am pushing off. I could turn up Omnisphere, but you know, my computer's pretty fast on that. So anything that you think might slow your computer down, make sure it's turned off before you save. That way, when you first start it up, it will automatically be turned off too, because it saves whatever state you save it as. So keep that in mind. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's quick, easy, dirty way to make your own templates to improve your workflow inside of FX Studio. I highly recommend you take time to make your own template. Even if you make a beat, you can go through and delete stuff from the be and keep that template and save that as a template if you want to or you can sit like here like me and make a little custom with yourself should take you but a few minutes depending on how complex or how simple you want to go and then boom you're good to go you can start you know hey you know starting up quicker and doing stuff a lot faster so yeah that's that so <laughs> with that being said y'all know who it is your boy Slim, aka mr different not motivated by the money but the like comments, subscribe and views and with that being said hope you guys are always make sure you thumb the view up if you liked it thumb it down make sure you hit it twice though if you didn't like it leave a comment subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video i'm out yeet